Hey guys, uh, so Farid here from leavethecouch.com and today's a bit of an exciting one for me. Um, it's uh, the day before a big camping trip. So you'll kind of see, let me just take it over here. So yeah, I'm kind of laying out the pack. I've just started packing over there. Nothing really um, amazing just happening, but I did get this new pack. Uh, Osprey, what is it called? An Ether 60. So. I got that, just picked it up today from uh, Drifters, so I'll probably put a review out of that after the, after the weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, um, there's a couple of um, couple of things that I'm kind of working on right now, and I'll kind of give you a view, um, something different to the channel that I kind of want to bring this, uh, this month and going forward. So yeah, um, stay tuned, uh, be back now. You're packing your backpack as well? Okay. Okay, okay yeah. this one. So that one, you want too many noodles? Yeah. Okay, so we've got all this food and things. It's gonna be away from Friday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy the healthier stuff because I didn't take time to actually plan properly. It's a bad idea. Um, but uh, to figure out how to put all of this and still my cooking utensils and clothing into my new pack. So. So we have to see how this is going to work. But too big! Is the two my noodles so big as well? Yeah! Okay. Figure out something then. Try this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm back and uh, just finally finished the packing for my trip. Heading out to the Matrosberg for, what's it now? Two days basically, or two and a half days. So we're going to get there tomorrow, which is Friday, and then spend Saturday and Sunday on a hike on our mountain guiding course. I'll give you some more insights into kind of like what's been happening on that mountain guiding course. But it's safe to say that um, it's gonna take us a bit out of our comfort zones. We're used to kind of running the distances, but now we're gonna be hiking it. So my bags are packed, everything's ready. Uh, it's got a ton of food. I mean, it's the first time I've carried more than two days worth of food uh, on me for a trip. Normally we have either a small kind of spot that we go to and then we kind of like run from there. Um, but this time it's actually just gonna be out in the wilderness, fully self-sufficient for two days. Um, there's going to be some river crossings. There's going to be some rope work that we're going to need to do. There's going to be some uh, nighttime navigation and some other skills that they're going to be testing. So it's going to be super fun. Uh, can't wait. But um, before I actually sign on that, what I'm actually trying to tell you guys about, or what I'm really excited about, is that um, we're changing up the way we kind of review on LTC, we're gonna be doing things slightly differently. So I'm gonna give you a sense of what's actually coming in the next month uh, with all my new unboxings. So I've got two shoes here for you and I'm kind of excited about sharing that um, with you because it's always exciting to kind of get new shoes. Uh, for me, I, I feel a bit um, like it's Christmas and for someone who's Muslim, it's, uh, <laughs> it's always nice to have a Christmas. Uh, but every month we we're planning to bring you at least two shoes and maybe some other kit thrown in. So this month so far, we've got some really cool kit that just arrived. Uh, so I'm super excited. So I'll just kind of give you a sense of what's, what's here. So the first shoe, not new uh, by any stitch, it's the Nike Epic React. And here they are, really nice looking shoe. Um, for me, I've always wanted a pair of these. They were released earlier in 2018. I never kind of got my foot into them. Um, I've looked at Ultra Boost. I've looked at the uh, hover material in Under Armour shoes and now I can kind of get this epic uh, kind of react foam uh, a try and the shoe is really really pretty I think it's really good looking so it looks massive because of the, the zoom uh, and kind of like for point of like focus that you guys are seeing um, but the shoe is absolutely stunning I think first impressions for me was that I thought the upper or this fly was going to be a bit softer but it's quite durable so I'm not necessarily concerned about that um, also the fact that this outsole is beautiful that's a gel kind of a look over here that's going to get super dirty so I'm glad I think you guys can see that there I'm glad you guys are seeing this before I put on like 100 odd k's and you can't even see any of this but I'm pretty excited about the shoe because you're basically running on um, the midsole uh, sometimes I full foot strike and sometimes I kind of wool heel strike but majority of it's going to be somewhere in the middle so I'm kind of interested to see the wear on this especially since I'm a bit heavier than most runners um, so yeah we'll kind of see how this thing holds up over the, the testing period starting to issue. the only thing I, com I can complain about is actually there's a little bit here at the back so there's a little bit here I've got size 11 feet so I run in a 12 
And when you add like what looks like two sizes, it looks like I'm wearing flippers, man, guys. So the only thing I'm really worried about is the fact that this thing makes my feet look massive. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll check these out in the next month. The next shoe that I picked up, um, I'm also excited about this one. It's the Asics Gel Nimbus 21. So the 21st edition. This thing probably needs a key or something. 21st edition and I mean it looks like a proper Asics kind of a dad shoe. You know the look that they go for. Sometimes I wonder when they're ever going to kind of make the shoes look a bit more modern. But anyways, this shoe is just launched here in South Africa. And I'm super excited about it. 21 editions of a shoe. It's kind of already like says a lot about how much people love this. And there's a lot actually going on. At first sight it kind of looks like normal boring kind of a you know just an asic type of thing but when i actually had a look at this thing there's like three types of foam there's flight foam over here flight foam over there there's a gel capsule this heel counter is solid i mean i'm actually excited to see like how this thing is gonna kind of put it all together and the super high abrasion rubber over here and this little plastic bit shank over here that's pretty interesting so i'm gonna get into these shoes and kind of check them out so yeah i'm super excited about both of these shoes, both roadies, not necessarily trail shoes, so I'm gonna have to be um, running the older models that I've got now, but these on the road, I'm gonna put in a lot of mileage, kind of get a sense for what they are and what they provide, but they should both be super comfortable and expecting some nice, decent long runs. And I'll try them out in different workouts as well, to kind of just get a sense of, you know, does it actually work? Can you use it for a bit pacey kind of workouts, tempo runs and so on, or are they just purely your LSD type, type of shoe? Um, but yeah, super excited about, about both of these, yeah. And then finally, my final spoil of the month is the Ultima Direction Mountain Vest 4.0. Now, this is the Anton Kupichka Signature Series. I had the 3.0 and I love that vest. I had it for, what, almost two years. I think it was starting to tear. It was in bad shape because of all the big mountain missions I've done in it. But this time around, this thing is super pretty and I don't know if you guys can see this but I can't wait to kind of share the review. Um, so at the back the kind of things that jump out to me that are different between this model and, and the previous one is they've adjusted these pockets up front here. It's, a, it's now not the one big pocket, it's got a bit of a stitching so it's more I suppose gel orientated. I just stick some small bars and things like that in there. Um, the pockets are a bit different as well, not complete mesh like they were in the beginning. Um, the side pockets seem to be a bit bigger. And what used to be the phone pocket has also gotten a bit smaller over here, so I'm gonna have to figure out where I keep my cell phone, but most likely it will be in the back side pockets. But I'm super excited about this one, um, purely because you know I'm a big Anton Kubica fan, who isn't? And uh, yeah, generally in the industry, it used to be Hydrapack made all of them, they make for Salomon, um, for Nathan, I think, and for Ultimate Direction Tradition, they used to make all of these big manufacturers. But now it seems that Ultimate Direction are making their own body bottle soft floss. And so that's pretty interesting and we'll kind of see how it works. I mean, they've changed the, the tip a bit over here and the kind of like the, the screw cap. So yeah, we'll kind of see how that all comes together um, in the bottle. But it feels a bit different from the usual. It's a bit more, well, it feels a bit thicker, but durable, um, more durable. And we'll kind of see how that comes together. Lots of long run goodies and uh, long run kind of shoes coming up. And I'm super excited about that. So that was kind of new shoe day or new kit day here at LTC. Hopefully I'll bring you these every single month so you can get excited about what types of kit we're going to be testing out so basically what this means is that i will switch into these now and whatever reviews i've just i'm busy completing and wrapping up you'll see that kind of trickle through for the rest of the month but in january expect these to come through as the latest reviews and i think that's kind of cool so i'm kind of excited about this purely because um, you guys get to ask me questions along the way if you see me running them feel free to ask feel free to send me the types of things that you guys want to see in the review as well um, and yeah, I'll keep you posted all the way through. If you guys want to see more of this kind of content, if you want to know sort of what I plan to review next, if you have any suggestions, send them to me in the comment section, in email, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to get your insight. Uh, we want to put shoes that you guys are interested in, want to understand sort of our perspective on it. We put in at least 100 kilometers on most of these shoes with a trail auto. So get a fair sense of what they're about as opposed to just one running them. So 
We're all about real reviews and unbiased reviews. So we give you exactly what you need to know so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did and a lot of other runners did when they first started and spending lots of money on kit that just doesn't necessarily work for you. I think I'm fortunate enough to be in the opportunity where I get to get these shoes um, as early as I do and trying all these different brands. So I kind of want to share that with you guys and share the entire process. So feel free to ask any questions and please like this video and subscribe. And yeah, we'll get you some more videos as soon as possible. Peace.